Hello, Scorpios. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to my uh, YouTube station and also my podcast. Uh, I am recording this on a separate unit here uh, for my podcast. I've already shuffled the card, Scorpio. This is again for August 2020. Love reading. Okay. Your first card is the Queen of Swords. It is reversed. This is somebody who is narrow-minded, cold, malicious, really just deceitful. And you've got the High Priestess next to it here, which tells me that this person may actually be manipulating you. Uh, in some sense, they might be trying to use a little magic or a little bit of spirituality or something that is of um, a higher knowledge or wisdom, maybe abusing that type of energy uh, to get you to be with them or get you to basically do whatever it is they want from you. Uh, I really find that this person is very prudish, uh, perhaps maybe even has a bad temper, an ill temper. I'm sensing quite a bit of narcissism here too. Uh, then we've got the world card. So I really feel that this is a, a perfect world for this reverse Queen of Swords. Um, they seem to have accomplished a lot. Now, whether this is a Scorpio and some of you are uh, listening to this video and podcast because you have a Scorpio in your life or this could be happening to a Scorpio. <coughs> Excuse me. But what I'm getting here is they have perfected. They have perfected this energy here. But you've got the world card here. Okay. The more you awaken and really open your eyes to see what's going on and really willing to devote yourself to yourself to do something about this, I feel like you'll have success with it. Now, here we've got the Four of Pentacles, okay? This person, I feel, too, could be a hoarder. They could be financially taking advantage of you. Um, maybe they control the finances, Um Perhaps this could even be someone who is a gambler uh, or has some type of addiction. That could be, again, gambling. It could be alcohol. It could be drugs. It could be sex. Um, any of these. That's what I'm getting with the Four of Pentacles because I feel like they are hoarding the money. They're not being generous with the money. And the Queen of Swords reverse is leading me in this reading right now. Okay. This, there's a lot of greed that's happening here. Let's go on to the next card. I'm just laying five a row here. We've got Knight of Swords. Okay. Now, I feel that you could come out of this relationship a winner if you just get brave and confront the situation and then do something about it. Like the Knight of Swords, it represents an air sign. It represents communication because it is air. So here I feel like you need a lot of strength to deal with um, this person who happens to be manipulating your life. And here with the Knight of Swords too, it's telling me like, I feel like some of you might be dreaming about being this hero, taking care of your life, that really making those changes, but yet there's a fear. Now, this also, Scorpio, could mean that you have a lover or a spouse that's an air sign that is, um, I mean, that you have to take this type of action with. Because I feel like this person, you know, I'm getting a lot of Mars energy here too. Like perhaps this person could be uh, in some type of, um, you know, some type of like uniform. It could be somebody who's who's been in the army or is in the army now. It could be someone who's a police officer or some type of, could even be an attorney. But I'm just sensing somebody that is... Uh, really has a lot of power here. Um, also, too, this could be your lover who could even be in prison and is in prison because of certain behavior that you've had to live with for some time. 
But anyways, um, let's go on into the next cards here. We've got the Five of Swords. We've got the Nine of Pentacles. We've got the Page of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Hierophant. So here we have, moving through August, the Five of Swords. This is about feeling defeated. It's about destruction, other people in your business. Um, I just feel you feel weak. You feel weak and, and disrespected and dishonored. The Knight of Pentacles here tells me that you're going to accomplish something something here though. But you've got to go uh, you've, you've got to do this in a in a very quiet secretive way. Because if you don't then you're going to get caught and you're not going to accomplish what you have planned for August. Now you might not know what you have planned yet, but you're going to have a plan. Um I think the concern here t is about money. The concern is about money. Is there enough money for you to take action and do something about it? Because here we've got the Page of Pentacles. Now, this could be, again, this could be an earth sign here. But I feel like it's somebody young. Like, maybe some of you have a relationship where you're either older or younger than your partner. Um, and so, uh, I feel, too that maybe some of you are going to have to take some type of, uh, and I'm just saying whatever comes to me. I know this is a love reading, but I feel like some of you might have to study or brushing up on some skills here to, um, you know, to make a, to make your own uh, living, you know, especially the ones who want to leave a partner and can't because they're not in a financial way. I think there's just something that you have to study, study up on, okay? Um, but you have some new ideas. And, and the Page of Pentacles is also telling me that you've got a plan. And the Wheel of Fortune is saying this plan can be successful as long as you're conscious about it. And, and you've got this plan in order, okay? Otherwise, the Wheel of Fortune is saying if you're not conscious about this and you continue the way you're going with this relationship, then it's going to be fate. It's going to be, that's your outcome. That's going to be your destiny. The moment that you wake up from it, the moment that you're 100% conscious about it and you want to do something about it, then it's no longer going to be your fate. It's no longer going to be your destiny. You're going to be able to make those changes. Also, to the Wheel of Fortune is telling me, that you are coming to the end of this problem. So either way, the plan or this person listens and starts to change their behavior and get this relationship in order, or you've got the plans that, hey, I'm going to end this, which is going to end my problems. Now, also with the Wheel of Fortune, it tells me that there could be some unexpected events that may occur. I feel like this has to do with the world itself. You know, we are in uncertain times. So who knows what is coming next? Uranus is retrograde in Taurus. It will be in August. So there's not that much of a change between a direct Uranus and a Uranus that's retrograde. But because it's going retrograde and it's shifting the energies backwards, basically it could cause some unexpected things and unexpected things in regards to money, in regards to your love life. Here we've got the Hierophant. Um, I feel like you guys need to create a ritual. Create a ritual that is kind and full of gratitude. Okay? Um, a ritual that is compassionate. Because you, you want to approach this to where you're not going to continue to be the victim of this karma. So this is what you need to do. Now, I know this reading isn't going to resonate with all of you, okay? But I just call it the way the cards are. And this is how it's coming out. Okay? So um, let's get one more row out here. We've got the Seven of Pentacles. We've got the Seven of Swords, the Nine of Swords. Well, we got a lot of air going on in this reading here. Communication is huge here. Um, 
I feel like some of you are actually being shut up or you're shutting somebody else out or up. But we have a lot of air going on here. Now, this this row is telling me it's some of pentacles as we're moving even further into August is there's some hard work ahead of you. There are things that you need to do to make progress in your relationship, in your love life, financially, and for your health, and for, for just, um, you know, just making you feel like you've accomplished something. I feel August is a month, Scorpio, where you want to feel like you've accomplished something, that something's really paying off here. We've got the Seven of Swords, okay? This is new plans. This is new plans, just like how I, how I, um, how I just read above here, uh, I forgot which card I, I actually used. I think it was the Wheel of Fortune and the Hierophant with the Page of Pentacles. But anyways, those plans are really important, okay? Now, it's not just about this relationship I was discuss, discussing or relationships. This is also about, you know, for some of you who want to begin a new relationship, okay? I feel like you still need to make those plans. I think it's important that you write down what it is that you want from a relationship. Because your wishes, the Ten of Swords, your wishes count here. Hope, confidence, your plans. Um, and then we've got the Nine of Swords. Okay, so... Here we've got the Nine of Swords. We all know what the Nine of Swords means. It's one step down from the Ten of Swords. There's some suffering here. There's some anxiety. There's there's unhappiness here in this relationship. In some of your relationships. There's been fighting. There's been disagreements. Doesn't necessarily mean the same one I'm reading above here. Like I'm reading for thousands of Scorpios right now. So therefore, this could be another relationship where things are going well, but it has its hiccups. It has its hiccups where, um, you know, you're not getting on the same page here. Some of you wish that your relationship would uh, just calm it down a bit. But here we've got the devil. Okay, there's, this can also deal with the Capricorn. But here we've got someone who just wants friendship with benefits. Also, too, I feel, and here, here, I'm just sorry that it's coming out this way, Scorpio, but this is the way it's coming out. Here I feel that you, some of you, or some of you are doing this in your relationships or somebody is doing this to you, Scorpio, where they just want you to be kind of in this position of obeying them. Like, just weird kind of energy here in your love relationship. Now, I think a lot of this energy too is unexpected. Some of you might not be expecting something like this, too. And Spirit is also telling me that some of you are, like, self-sabotaging. Like, really blaming yourself how these things are coming out. And it's not all you're doing. Now, here we got the King of, King of Pentacles. We're going back into Earth Sign again. This, I feel this person will help you. But it's also emphasizing more the Capricorn energy or the Earth energy here. Uh, this could be somebody, again, who's got a lot of power, somebody who's um, very experienced. They could be a successful leader. Uh, they could be, you know, deep into business. Maybe they're into the stocks or investments of some kind because they have really good mathematical abilities. But also, this could be somebody's husband or somebody's wife. I also feel like this is somebody you once relied on. And for some of you other Scorpios, this is an excellent friend and a reliable marriage partner. And there has been a lot of losses for some of you Scorpios or who have Scorpio spouses or lovers. 
lots of money has been lost here but i feel here with the king of pentacles and even the capricorn energy even though this is the devil in business capricorn is excellent to get a capricorn energy for business so some of you might be thinking about starting something new and i feel like you get a lot of support from your lover from your spouse okay so i'm gonna leave you with this scorpio i wish you a fantastic august thank you for listening please like subscribe and also listen to my podcast which is the same reading actually right now but i will be listing everything below this video take care